We love Heroes Reborn, and you should too. Today, we're talking about our top five favorite new powers we've seen from the Evo so far this season, so let's get to it, shall we? Starting at number five comes from Father Maurizio and his ability to turn into what seems to be smoke or mist, as well as the ability to literally disappear into things. This is a power that just doesn't work on him either. He can grab people and do it to them as well. We see this when he grabs Carlos to save him from the rogue cops that were chasing after him. Number four is Harris Prime's power, where he is the ability to regenerate limbs that are cut off. Not only that, but the limb that is cut off then becomes a freaking clone of himself. We first see him do this when he's going to interrogate Miku and she ends up cutting off his hand. That hand not only grows back, but then turns into another version of him. When the clones are killed, they also seem to turn into piles of dust, meaning that only Harris Prims can create more copies of himself. Tommy Clark's power snags the number three spot on our list. He has the ability to teleport objects and including people to wherever he's thinking. When we first see his powers in use, he does it to save himself and his friend Emily from Evo Hunters, Luke and Joan Collins. When he grabs them, he's able to teleport them far away, saving himself and Emily. At the time, he had no idea the extent of his powers and didn't learn that things teleport to where he's thinking until Emily asks him to use his powers on a flower for her. The flower then shows up in a tub of ice cream at the parlor Emily works at because when he did it, he was thinking of the first time he saw her and what kind of ice cream he was having. The power is awesome though, being able to go anywhere you want just by thinking about it. At the number two spot, I'm not sure if this actually counts as a power or not, but Miko Otomo's power as it is, she finds her father's sword, which turns out to be Hiro Nakamura's sword. And when she unsheathes it, she's transported into the video game Ever now. <laughs> it's like, you know, EverQuest, but kind of different, where her father created a character no one ever knew how to unlock called Katana Girl. Why? Because because she totally is Katana Girl, that's why. At the time of this recording, she's still attempting to save her father with her new power, quote unquote. If it is a mix of her and the sword that gives her this amazing ability, I certainly know I want it. I mean, really, who doesn't want to have the power to go into a video game world? Video games are awesome. And finally, our favorite power we've seen so far comes from Melina, the girl destined to save the world. Her power seems to be the power of life. So far, we've seen her raise frozen butterflies to life in the Arctic, as well as raise a tree from the ground. This is our favorite power because there's so much potential behind it. What else can she bring to life? Can she bring the dead back? Or is Noah going to use her to bring Claire back? The possibilities are endless, and we're excited to see what she does with these powers. So, what were your favorite powers from the show so far? Do any of yours match up with our list? Leave your thoughts down below, and be sure to check out some of the other awesome videos we have on offer here at the channel. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you around.